Hi everybody, Alex Deployer from Expert Forex and in this video I'm going to just show you one of the chart layouts that I use when looking at the Forex market and hopefully you can benefit from this. Now on your screen you can see 25 charts and that covers most of the market. There are 28 main currency crosses and the 25 covers my needs quite nicely and one of the things that I do do is uh, I have an indicator here that tells me the volatility of a currency in other words the range in which it trades on uh, per candle and in for instance this particular one the pound New Zealand has a range of 53 pips for every candle and if you go down to the other side the New Zealand franc both got New Zealand in them. This one has a, a range of 19 pips. Now, what does it tell you? It tells you the correlation between the franc and the New Zealand is very good. In other words, they they correlate very well, and the correlation between the pound and the New Zealand is very poor. And that's why you have this big volatility. Now, why do I sort my charts in that way? Because volatile currencies are more important than the non-volatile currencies. If you are a forex trader, you don't want to make, do a trade and wait for a, a few for, for a day for it to move, let's say, 50 pips. Whereas this particular currency moves 50 pips in one candle. So volatility is important if you are trading on a manual basis. So this particular volatility indicator can be downloaded from our forum. Um, I will leave a link in the description of this video as well as in the first comment of the video. Okay, so let's get back to the charts here. Um, and then in general, I have what I call our magic moving average. And it's nothing too special. It's basically a moving average of four shifted by four. Now, why do I use that moving average? It is a moving average that captures trends beautifully. In other words, it captures the phases of the market very well so if the price is above that magic moving average you then are in a buy phase and if you, it is below the moving average you are in a sell phase and that there are two reasons why i use that moving average firstly it's just my eye immediately can tell whether a currency is in a buy phase or a sell phase my eye can also immediately tell if the phases are changing so for again since let's go back to the pound new zealand here yeah you can see the phase is changing now that's in fact a trading signal it is moving from a sell phase to a buy phase if you can master the ability to tell when the market is in a buy phase or in a sell phase you half the battle of forex trading is over for you so there we go we've got one there let's have a look if there's any and yeah the the new zealand the euro new zealand also starting to go into a buy phase uh, let's have a look if there's any other clear ones that are coming out uh, no major reverses. so those two are, are already warning me that there could be a change of phase coming up for those particular currencies then i look for reversal signals and one of the strongest reversal signals that you can find is a pin bar a pin bar is just a very spiky bar but now one of the things that that people don't realize and and something that i need to show you is that when you add two bars like that together you can see there's a, a blue bar going up and a red bar coming down if you add them together you get a spike so that is equivalent to a spike it's a rejection signal and it is a signal to trade sh uh, short in this particular case so immediately by looking at this i can see a couple of rejection signals there's a rejection there's definitely a rejection candle uh let's go a little bit more the, the, mm, almost not quite the, there's a rejection candle and 
Yeah, the, those are the ones. So immediately, I can see so much going on in the market. I can see uh, 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 phase reversals. I can see rejection spikes. And then the other thing I look for is it, it are areas where the market is making new highs or new lows. And you can see there are a few charts here that are making new highs uh, uh, going up. Uh, there's there's a new high being made. Um, there's a new high being made. So uh, I, I start looking at those. That there's a potential a cell uh, building up there. So this particular view really does help me orientate myself as to what's going on in the market. Now, the other thing that is prominent uh, that you can see here is that the US dollar is weakening tremendously. And you can also see that the Aussie and the New Zealand are strengthening tremendously. The yen is also weakening tremendously. And and you don't need a, a, a strength and weakness table to tell you that. You can see it on the chart. So I can actually see that, for instance, here... The pound New Zealand, when that's going down, it's saying that the New Zealand is strengthening. And there we are. Uh, uh, the pound Oz, the Oz is strengthening. Look how strong it is getting. The New Zealand, look at the New Zealand, how strong it is. Look, uh, the, the, the pound yen, look how weak the yen is. There's the weak yen coming out. Um, those aren't applicable here. Uh, uh, the euro Oz, again, look at that strong Oz. You know, people often look at a currency like that and say, oh, oh, the euro is weakening. It's not that. The Aussie is strengthening there. And let's just go. Those are, are all over the show. The, the, pound, uh, the pound US. Look at the weak US dollar. So you can see strength and weaknesses in these charts. And that's why I like seeing it. And when they agree like they are at the moment, it's, it's fantastic. Look at this Aussie yen. Uh, the yen is weakening, the Aussie is strengthening, and it's just trending like crazy. That's what happens when that happens. Uh, the, the, the U.S. CAD, the, 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 the U.S. dollar is weakening tremendously. Uh, let's see. So you can see these patterns playing out. The Oz CAD, again, very strong trend there because of the strong Oz. Oz USD. Uh, oh, the Oz USD. The USD is weakening and the Oz is, is strengthening. So you get a, a tremendous trend building up there. Let's see how much that was. That's uh, over 250 pips in the last two or three days. Uh, New Zealand. It's uh, New Zealand yen. Same thing. We've got a strong currency and a weak cu currency, and you get these 250 pip trends building up. So you, you can tell a huge amount of information from this. Now I don't trade from this. This is what I call an environmental analysis phase where I look at the market and I identify currencies that look interesting. I confirm what I uh, what I believe about the market in terms of the weakening Aussies, uh, the, the strengthening Aussie and New Zealand and the weakening uh, uh, US dollar and yen. I confirm these things on the chart. I also look for the uh, phase changes. I look for rejection uh, signals and immediately I can now shortlist a number of interesting currencies that I want to go and trade. It's also important to trade lots of currencies like I've got on the, the screen here because your trading opportunities vary from time to time. Sometimes there are no trading opportunities in the market. Other times there are so many and you need to see all of them. The reason being, let's say you have a trading opportunity here and you have a similar one. Look at that. That's similar to there. And uh, you then say, all right, now which trading opportunity must I take? And that's where this volatility uh, number comes in. You always take the more volatile currency. So you, you see there's, there's a potential setup. There's a potential setup. That's got 36. That's got 31. You take the 36. So there's a lot of little nuances in this particular chart setup that really help me when I'm trading. I'm not saying this is the only way to trade, but this is one of the little tools that I use to evaluate the market when I'm trading. So from me, Alex Aploy, cheerio.